Hi everyone, my name is Alex Sheen, founder of Because I Said I Would, and this is a recap and thank you video for our inaugural event that happened on September 6th of 2014. We had approximately a thousand attendees at our event held in Columbus at the Greater Columbus Convention Center. At one point in the event, I actually asked uh, just kind of a raise a hand survey to see how many people were from out of town. and. And it was surprising. We had people from across the country. People drove from Tennessee, New York, Florida, Nevada, all the way to Columbus, Ohio to be a part of this event. And I think that shows the, the national strength that Because I Said I Would has become as a social movement. And we thank everyone who, who drove that distance, who flew in, uh, who came in and supported us. As a part of the event, we had 29 different nonprofit organizations join us for an expo center. Really, this is the opportunity for those attendees to check out these nonprofit booths to learn a little bit about the challenges that face humanity and the promises that we can make every day to help out, uh, to also to donate and to volunteer. We had, I believe, an average of 30 volunteers uh, sign up for each one of these booths. So I think that'll have an incredible rippling impact for those organizations in the months to come. I was really excited about the museum style exhibitions that we were able to execute at this event. They were 28 feet long for each one of these exhibitions and highlighted a number of things. We had one called The Legends of Promise. This was individuals who've changed the course of human history through their commitments. We also had a giant interactive promise wall. This was the opportunity for attendees to write a promise card out and stick it on the wall. It was just awesome to see all these commitments, uh, just incredibly inspiring. We had a timeline exhibition that really was the first two years of Because I Said I Would and how this social movement started and how it grew into what it is today. We also had a wall dedicated just to the impact of social media, how the stories of commitment and promise really can create role models and stories for society to mold ourselves after. This was an awesome opportunity to also thank Redditors who have upvoted our stories to the front page so many times and it just shows how something can grow from such a small commitment into something that really motivates the world and we think everyone has that opportunity through social media. It was great to show that through this exhibition. The highlight of the entire event had to be the main stage speakers. We had incredible people from around the country join us to share their stories. Stories of perseverance, stories of their commitments, of their promises, whether that's Eva Kaur, the Holocaust survivor, Napkin Notes dad, uh, Garth Callahan and his daughter, or Laura Cowan, the domestic abuse survivor. There was just so many incredible stories shared on that main stage. And yeah, it was awesome for the attendees in the room, but we want to have a bigger impact than that. We want to have greater reach. And that's why we're currently working on shoring up these videos and making them available on YouTube. Our small staff here, it'll, it'll take us a little while to get through those, but we want to share those with the world. Speaking of videos, if you're familiar with this event, you'll also know that the video rooms were a huge part of what we were trying to pull off on this day. This was the opportunity to go into a room, to sit in front of a camera, and to have an attendee share a story of their promise, a commitment, a promise made, a promise broken, a promise kept. And with so many people in attendance, we were able to line up 15 minute slots in the four separate video rooms and execute recordings for 80 separate Promise Story videos. Uh, I've been reviewing these and we're hoping for a November release to start our year long YouTube series that will release a new video each week uh, for an entire year. I'm still in awe of how our inaugural event went off. It was just such an incredible experience. I want to thank everyone who came, who supported us, but there was one promise that we made in particular that I need to fulfill in this video. We said that we would say thank you to those who supported us in a particular Indiegogo perk uh, that really helped crowdfund this event. And so I want to say thank you to those folks now. Well, what should I do? I don't know how to pronounce any of these. So what this is going to be is a complete butchering of virtually every single name on this sheet. I really want to apologize in advance. I am not good with enunciation, pronunciation, so I'm gonna do my best, which is gonna be horrible. Um, so here we go. Uh, Mad Koto, Valerie Almanzar, Ryan Renfrey, Andre Adur, Fit Julie B, Jessica Baracolas, Cameron 
McCallman, Zarin Crosby, Simon Laleman, Wi-Fi Kayla, <laughs> Paul Rostrelli. You like how every name is like a question mark. Noel T. Anye Mechi, Susan J. Gonzalez, Melissa G. Kabak, Ka Kat Seran Serrano, Soriano, Soriano, Johanna Nilsson, Oakley Sai, Juan Flores, Maria Claver, and Laura Threadgill. Thank you to everyone on that list and really so many more individuals. We've had such incredible support for this project, for this event, and we owe a thank you to everyone. We owe a thank you to all of our financial supporters, everyone who follows us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, who helps share the message to get attendees interested. I think the only thing that's really left is a single question, which is, you know, what's gonna happen next year? We are planning for a 2015 event. We aren't promising it yet because we take promises very seriously. And we gotta make sure we have some planning and thought behind it before we commit fully. I think that there's really little way that we're not gonna do that just because of all the momentum we have and the positive energy and all the folks who said they want it to happen again. Thank you again for all your support and look out for that video series that's coming out soon. Peace.